Hi everyone, in my video today I would like to share with you these beautiful flowers growing in my garden. These are some of my favorite summer bulbs. People commonly call these belladonna lilies and uh, jersey lilies among other lily-like names, but uh, they are not lilies, although they look similar at first glance due to their flower shape and uh, growth habits. There are lots of plants from different genera that uh, are called lilies, and this is just one of them. This is an example how common names can be confusing and incorrect. In fact, the same common name can apply to several different plants. And one plant can have different common names in different countries and even in different areas of the same country. That is why I prefer the scientific names, which are the same wherever you are in the world. No matter how many times the scientific name of a species has been rectified and altered, those names are properly registered and are still valid as synonyms. And therefore, there aren't two plants sharing the same scientific name. The scientific name of this plant here is Amaryllis belladonna which means she is included in the genus Amaryllis and that Belladonna is the name given to the species. Amaryllis Belladonna is a native of the Western Cape region of South Africa. However, it is reportedly naturalized in many other places of the world with a temperate climate. Very important to notice that this is a temperate climate plant. Amaryllis is a small genus of flowering bulbs with only two species. Belladonna is the better known of the two. The other species is the one you can see on the screen now. And um, that is that. No more species in this genus. And now on the screen I am showing you the gorgeous flowers of another bulbous plant, very popular and often sold as indoor flowering bulbs, particularly around Christmas and in early spring. This plant is also commonly called Amaryllis, which is very confusing because this plant is not in the Amaryllis genus. So this is another good example of how common names can be misleading. In fact, this bulbous plant belongs to genus Epiastrum. And uh, this genus is native to tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas, from Argentina to Mexico and uh, the Caribbean. So as you can see, this is a warm grower, unlike uh, the true Amaryllis, which is temperate type of plant. What both this uh, genera, Amaryllis and Epiastro, have in common is that they belong to the same family, uh, with a long, complicated name, which is Amarilli daciae. The trick here is to read these complicated names by separating the syllables into groups. In this case, I make it like three words out of one. Amarilida se. But again, Amarilis genus comes from temperate climate in the province of Cape, South Africa. And Epiastrum comes from across the Atlantic from tropical and subtropical regions of Central and South America. That makes all the difference in cultivation. To finish this video, let's go back to my Amaryllis belladonna. I want to tell you that this is, a, this is an awarded species. She has been granted the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. 
and also some details about the plant. The leaves are produced during winter and they die down by late spring. The bulb then gets dormant until late summer. Then, in late summer, one or two leafless stems arise from the bulb. As you can see, there are no leaves here, only the flower stalks. This plant is not frost tolerant, nor does it do well in tropical environments, since they require that dry resting period between leaf growth and flower spike production. They reproduce by offsets or by seed. I was lucky to get one seed last year and this year I got these two, which I will be planting around January. My aim is to get plenty of them because they look so amazing when crowded and they are just right for this flower bed. And this is it. Hope you did not find this information too long or too boring. I am hoping <laughs> that some of you are as interested in taxonomy as I am and also feel that uh, we should call the plants by their proper names. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye!